Are you frustrated that your favourite game is not compatible with Steam Deck? Fear not, that may not actually be the case. And we'll go through all of the options that you could try to get this running. First off, sounds stupid, but just try running it. There may have been a game update or the base Proton might have been increased since it was last tested and it might just work. Of course, it might also not. So if it doesn't start up within a couple of minutes, quit out, go to the game properties, go to compatibility and then switch to Proton Experimental. This should be available on the shipping version of Steam Deck. Same process, let it run and give it a couple of minutes and if it doesn't progress past a blank screen or it just crashes back to the Steam screen after that time, then it's not going to work. So if Proton Experimental doesn't fix it for you, the next thing to try is to switch to desktop. Sounds odd, but sometimes this just fixes things anyway, as you'll notice that it does something slightly different. You'll see that with Proton Experimental, we actually got a direct X error on startup, which you don't see in game mode. Not all the time though, so let's just start it up again. And same problem, it just hung on that screen. Now, if you are in desktop mode, it's worth noting you might want a keyboard handy for when that sort of stuff happens so that you can alt tab and kill the game off manually. Otherwise, you will have to turn your Steam Deck off and on again, and it can be a bit of a pain. If that didn't work, what you can now do is go back to those compatibility settings and try the latest version of Proton. At the time of recording this, it was Proton 714. And I'll come on to how to install that in just a second. Once we try 714, once again, we'll hit that start button, and this time we see a bit of a different startup where it doesn't actually throw that black screen up immediately, and actually looks like it's just stuck on completing installation and then just sits there launching in the background. So again, if we give it at least a couple of minutes and see what happens, I'm gonna speed through it here so that you don't have to wait that time, but lo and behold, Just Cause 2, after a couple of minutes on Proton 7.14, booted up just fine and we actually have gameplay of this on the channel so you can actually check out full gameplay of this running even in game mode which we'll cover in just a second how did we get the magic latest version in this case proton 714 so back to desktop mode if you open the discover app from the steam deck icon in the bottom or windows key and search for proton Top answer here should be Proton Up QT. So install this. You can see I've already got it installed. So I'm just going to hit the launch button here, which you will need to do once it's installed. You'll see that I've already got a bunch of options installed here. But install for Steam, click Add Version, Compatibility Tool Proton GE, and then for the version, pick the latest version. Now, at the time of recording, this was GE Proton 714 and is my current favorite. Let us know in the comments below if there is a new version. If it's more than a week since I've uploaded this, the chances are there is a new version now. Let us know what that version number is and what it's fixed for you. Now that we've managed to get that started up, you'll see that even in game mode, if we now launch that game, it launches very quickly and we can now play Just Cause 2, which was completely unsupported five minutes ago, in game mode on Steam Deck. Now there is one other thing that might fix the startup crashes if you're getting an immediate crash when starting the games and that's to change the advanced launch options and add in minus dx11 or hyphen dx11. This will force games into DirectX 11 mode as the DirectX 12 API does have issues in some games which is what caused it to be unsupported. So that is your last ditch attempt to get it working and if none of that works I'm afraid it really is unsupported and you'll need to wait for a game to be updated. There is one caveat to this, any EAC game, any easy anti-cheat game that has not had the Linux flag updated by the game itself will not let you into multiplayer or online games. So if it does have easy anti-cheat and it will tell you in that warning on unsupported, then the chances are until that game's updated, it will remain an issue. That's about it. And that's how you generally get unsupported games working on Steam Deck. Let us know in the comments below if this has fixed some games for you and what they are. Thanks for watching and see you next time.